All right, it's Chinese kit time. Let's see what we've got in this package. All right, let's see here, we've got, ah, 200K. <laughs> and a PC board, oh dear. Surface mount, oh, there it is too. <laughs> nice, leads are probably all bent on it. Oh dear. Not crazy about the packaging so far. Uh, they paid more attention to the other little components, but not so much on that one. So that's going to be tricky, getting that 44, uh, 44 pin flat pack down. Yeah, let's see how my oven does on that. Uh, a lot of surface mount parts. So yeah, this is a surface mount part kit. And then there's this uh, thumb wheel. Okay. And we have a little package over here with a... Ah, look at that. We've got a little LCD display, or OLED display. So yeah, a little OLED and it would go... It goes on top here, I guess, like this. So it's got a display in it. Oops, can't see that, can you? It's got a display on, on the top here. So what is it? Okay. Uh, it is the world's smallest oscilloscope. <laughs> oscilloscope production kit, STC8 LCD screen mini oscilloscope electronic DIY kit parts electronic welding. All right, $12.99, so maybe the smallest oscilloscope and the cheapest oscilloscope, so we will see. So um, this is supposedly the types of waveforms it'll generate. Lots of stuff on there. Very cool. All right. And then here's the uh, assembly instructions. So there is a file I could download. Product name, mini oscilloscope. Voltages, 3.7 to 5 volts. Functions, display waveform, output pulse width modulation wave, detect power supply voltage, save information after power off. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, it does have a parts list, which I will need because none of the parts are uh, on the PC board, just the R1, C1, that type of thing. So I'll need that. And uh, it says, yeah, be careful. <laughs> when signing the chip, put the chip in place. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be a tricky one. This is going to be a tricky one. Uh, I think the thing I'm going to have to do here is to figure out what parts go where and start start uh, doing all the surface mount stuff first. And I'll put it all down, then put it in the oven and see how I do. I've never done a, a quad flat pack before uh, on, in my oven, so see how, uh, see how that works out. Uh, it's a matter of... I don't have a stencil for this board, so it's a matter of you know how much goo, how much uh, solder paste do you put down. Do you end up with one big blob? You can always go back and clean it off with a, with a soldering iron. So I don't think I can get it too bad or trouble. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, let's build our oscilloscope. All right, so um, I did put on all the surface mount parts. Uh, uh, you can see them all put on here. And I did have a couple bridges on the IC. I think I had about four bridges on the IC. Clean those up with a soldering iron. Um, I was a bit nervous about this um, uh, USB connector here, and I put that on with a hot air gun instead of putting it through the reflow. Sometimes I put in parts before in the reflow, and if they're made out of plastic, they just melt. Um, so I put that on with a hot air gun to control the heat. Um, and so I put the, some of the through hole parts on. The only thing left I have to do is to put on the little display, and uh, it is on a socket. It is on a socket and header, so. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and put that together. Hold there. Let's tack it down in the middle, and I'll get it. I'll get it straight. Let's see if that looks straight. That's straight enough. Oh, jeez. I've been bridging a lot lately. I don't know. I'm getting uh, getting sloppy. Let's 
maybe I'm soldering too much. Getting losing my patience, I guess I should say. Let's take the little protective thing off here. All right, that looks good. Um, let's put it on. All right. Let's see. Does this, this one reach? Yeah, this one reaches. Let's see. Plus. Plus and ground. Plus five and ground. And let's turn on some power. And this little switch here. Say on. How the LED comes on. There we go. Mini DSO. It works. Even has a splash screen. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's teeny tiny. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is, that is super cute. That is, that is, that is super cute. Um, let's see here. What the, but, oh yeah. Fail. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh, it sees noise. I can, wow. Let me put my finger on the input here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's, <laughs> it's got a, um, its own calibrate thing. It's got little square wave and triangle wave over here. So if I just put a jumper wire there, I think, let me find it. Let me find a jumper wire. Okay. Uh, let's see. I love it when things work the first time. Okay, and then I can just kind of touch. Oh yeah, touch one of these. There we go, look at that. Uh... Oh, cool. <laughs> there it is, little square waves. If I click it and then I do it, then that's... Oh, I don't know how it works. <laughs> Click. That's certainly horizontal. How do I get to vertical? If I hold it down. Oh, no. Oh, what's it say? I don't know. Save finish. Maybe it automatically adjusts the uh, Amplitude. Let's go to the other one. I think it's supposed to be a triangle wave. Let's see. Am I? Oh, I'm not. There we go. Oh, oh, I think I was. I think I was holding. Huh? I'm gonna have to read the instructions. This is super, super cute. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to change the uh, change the lens too, so you guys can see this because it's so tiny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's super cute. Put it back on the square way here so you can see that. <laughs> that is really fun. That is really, really fun. Oh, I need to figure out how to do everything though. Uh, you only get one button, so there must be like certain ways to do multiple button, button presses. Know what I'm doing. Let's see if there's instructions in this uh, thing I have. I think this is just the assembly instructions. I'm gonna have to find out how to how to actually operate it. Let's see if I click it once. It says oh, it says stop. Oh, so it's hold now. Click it again. It says run. And it, this is highlighted here, so it's doing. It's doing. Let's go back to square wave because that works. Yeah, this is a five milliseconds per division, one millisecond per division. Okay, if I click it again, nothing is happening. If I hold it down, oops, then it goes into that weird thing. Hmm. 
say finish. One millisecond, two volts per. Hmm. Very strange. Let me, uh, uh, <laughs> what am I going to do? Uh, let me, let me, let me get a, let me get an actual function generator here and we'll input that. Okay, so I've got a one kilohertz sine wave going in here of a particular amplitude. Let's turn it down here. And is it getting smaller? Yeah, it's getting smaller. It's not triggering very well. Uh, sine wave, uh, ramp. Okay, we got a little triangle wave. Let me figure out how to get it to get it to trigger. Well, there it goes. Stop. Run, fail. Maybe the trigger's failing. Oh, there we go. Let's trigger on that. Uh, it looks like it has a DC offset. So there's a couple pots down here, and we can adjust those pots. That doesn't seem to do anything. What about this one? That doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Unless I'm not turning them. I'm turning that one. Yeah, I don't know what those do. I don't know. Let's see, stop, that freezes it. Run. I don't know what it does. <laughs> I think this might be all it does. <laughs> it might just be as simple as this. Uh, I mean, you know, it, not a lot of got a lot of not going on here though, but uh, let me let me go see if I can find a, uh, a user manual for this thing All right, uh, so this is a main setting here and if I click out of this one um, So it, it's just doing its normal thing if you click once it'll stop and you click once it'll start if you uh, double click Let's see here let's See it's running Click, uh, let's see here, run, stop, run, oh yeah. So you see we're highlighted now on a little N, which is normal triggering. If we hold it down, uh, that's not right either. Oh man, it is, a, it is a tricky, so there's double clicks, there's long clicks, and there's, there's rotate while holding down, okay? So right now we're at normal, and here's automatic, you can see it starts to trigger, and here's normal, automatic, and single. So it'll do all of that, so we'll set it back to automatic. When you hold it down and rotate, then you can get to other places. So we, ah, but then you, if you do a long, ah, so it's, it's a really messed up system. Um, come back to here. I can hold down, now we can go to, uh, here's the, I think, volts per, yeah, I think this, uh, let's see, oh, but we're back to automatic. I didn't want to be an automatic. Oh, now we're holding, ah, so you're going <laughs> to, you're going to have as much frustration as I'm going to have. Okay, yep. Okay, hold it down and turn. There we go. Okay, now we're here. Yeah, so now we can do the vertical, vertical, vertical adjust. So now, now we're at 0.5 volts per division. Okay, and if we click it, it stops, runs. We're going to hold it down and rotate. There we go. Now we're at horizontal. Yeah, so anyway, so it'll do... Let's see, I'm going to read the data sheet here. Uh... It will do uh, trigger level. You can set trigger level somehow. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the arrow thing. You can set the trigger level up and down. Uh, you can set the vertical. You can set the horizontal. You can do auto, normal, single triggering. Um, so yeah, it does It does uh, oscilloscope type stuff. If we can't get it to, tr to trigger better, hold it down. Oh, that stupid thing goes back to there. Okay, there, we'll go to there. And this is the little, where it's triggering. 
I don't know, it doesn't like to trigger very good. Not, it's like a HP oscilloscope doesn't know how to trigger. <laughs> Sorry, HP. <laughs> They're probably better now. We'll say the Agilent scopes are okay. HP scopes used to be terrible at triggering. Oh, uh, maybe this is the voltage. Oh, I see. Rising edge, and I think this, yeah, T, yeah, here's the trigger voltage. So we need to go over here. That's the trigger voltage. Now we can, we can set the trigger voltage. It's set to 10 volts. Ah, there we go. We're triggering. Yay. So it's not bad. Okay. <laughs> User, take some, take some use, usage. Um, anyway, uh, so what do I think of it? I think it's just amazing <laughs> for $13. <laughs> Um, so it is a pretty advanced kit. It is all surface mount and um, I would say you need to be comfortable with surface mount to build this kit, um, especially with that 44 pin flat pack. So that will give you some grief if you don't have an oven and you have to do it by hand. It, it's, it's all doable. It, it's a matter of how practiced you are. A lot of people are really good at it. Um, I am not. That's why I bought the oven. Um, but you know, it is truth in advertising. It does do what it says. It is, it is the world's smallest and world's cheapest little scope, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Um, once again, you know, there it is. Let me, let me measure it for you. Uh, it is uh, 55 millimeters by uh, 35 millimeters, you know, 10 millimeters high or so. Anyway. Uh, super cute. It was fun to build. It was fun to turn on. Um, for 13 bucks, yeah, uh, you know, if you have an afternoon that you don't need to do anything, <laughs> come build an oscilloscope.